What's up, guys? It's your boy, Two Phones, back again with another informative video. Now, I'm getting into this cord cutting industry, this cord cutting business because it's big, it's what's hot, it's what's popping right now. Majority of the uh, country, uh, people in the U.S. have smart TVs right now. So I'm going to show you how to use these, um, give you good tips and tricks. Um, you know, a, a few add-ons, a few hints, or not even hints, uh, more like a uh, few things that you can actually um, add to your smartphones and tablets to even uh, um, help you um, optimize your usage better with these smart TVs and um, at-home internet. All right, so we're on the Roku, the Hisense Roku TV. Um, and this is how the main home screen looks, the, the basic home screen. So if I go over here, these are where all my streaming channels at. I have over 68. I could have more if I wanted to. Um, basically, I'm just trying to find the, the ones you can get for free without logging in and paying for. So there, there are a few um, that I have already installed on this Roku TV um, that you don't need logins. Um, like Crackle, Tubi TV, uh, let's see, we got uh, Plex. Well, you, you do need to log in. I got the login for Plex now. Uh, let's see, Comet, you don't need to log in for Comet. Sports Live, you sort of need to log in for the uh, video. Uh, Red Bull TV, you don't need to log in. Pluto TV, you don't need to log in. CBS Sports uh Headquarters, live 24-7, sports um, updates, news, events. You don't need to log in for that. Um, weather Nation for your your weather updates in the morning and stuff like that or before you head on out to school or work. Um, that's 100% free, no login. Stadium, you you could use a login um, to get special features and functionalities. I mean, Pluto's the same way, but that's on the smartphone. You can get both of these on the smartphone. Um, Roku channel um, is already, you know, should be on your Roku TV, but you don't need a login to access that. Um, and of course, if you got antenna uh, TV, um, your antenna, you know, will give you a preview of what's on TV right now locally. Um, but like right here for like direct TV, if you don't have that, you need a login. So, uh, and you will get like, um, random feeds. You will get random like ads over here to promote uh, different shows, different movies, content. Uh, if you have that particular channel installed on your Roku TV, then you just click on it and say, okay, I want to stream that now, so stream it now. Um, and this is the basic the main home screen. Um, right here on your, your far left, this is all where your, your tab is at, your menu. So you got your home tab, you got your my feed, and I'm gonna go ahead and go into this my feed real quick. So the my feed tab is basically stuff you're interested in um, that you want to get quick updates and alerts about whether it's a new show coming out, um, new movie coming out, or where you want to find that movie or show, where it's available at, on which station, which channel, and you can go to that app application and stream it. So you want to check out some movies? Let's go to the movie section in the my feed. All right, so based on my um, my recommendations, my likes, um, I get a, a, a lot of superhero movies, cartoon anime, you got kids, so you, you're going to have that pop in. Okay, so they, they added Jumanji. So if I wanted to know more information about when Jumanji is going to air on another channel, I can, or where to buy it from. You got Voodoo, you got Fandingo, you got Google Play, you got Amazon. Okay. I want to follow this. I want to get more information about uh, Jumanji uh, with The Rock and Kevin Hart. So I'm going to add that. And whatever channels I have on my Roku, uh, it will alert me when, it, you know, there's more information available when it's available uh, to watch or stream instantly. Or if there's a sale on that movie, I want to download it to one of my accounts from a smartphone or tablet or even PC, not necessarily just the TV. But, you know, that's, that's some, you know, you might want to take a look into uh, the name of the tab. It's called My Feed. So I was looking into the NCIS Los Angeles. I was looking into that. So I wanted more information about that. And that's one of the ones I wanted to follow. They're on Season 9, Episode 20. Just add free with the subscription. So I need a subscription. 
in order to watch that episode. So if I wanted to click in, see it says I need CBS all access required. So I need that. Otherwise, I can go. I can just go to channel four. Um, Say so where with Paw Patrol got kids, uh, little, little toddlers. So you want to see Paw Patrol season four episode eighteen was added free. So to the Nick Jr. channel, so I could just instantly go there and watch it. All right, and post. It's not available to rent. It also give you information on the other stuff. So that's how you use the my feed. Same way with the TV shows. Like I mentioned, movies coming soon. Okay, let's check out that. You want to know what movies coming soon to streaming or, you know, to, to the box office maybe. Or, you know, just, just to buy and rent. Here we, here we got We got Black Panther coming out soon. Um, so, you know, I want, I want to follow that. Follow this information on Roku. Boom, there you go. Black Panther. I got more information about Black Panther coming. So the movie store. Uh, movie store, they got partnered with Fandango now. Um, and yeah, you do need a subscription for that. So you can go ahead and check it out yourself. TV store, Fandango again. Now the news tab um, is something totally different. So um, it's, it's powered by AOL Video. So it gives you the top videos of the day or the week. Um, however they got it, um, you know, put in there. So you can keep up to date on what's going on with Trump. Uh, you got Sprint and T-Mobile just merged for $26 billion. Uh, So Avengers got a smashing record for the box office. There you go. Uh, the Simpsons breaks TV episode record. So, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a lot of, you know, news and updates that you're going to check and look into for your top stories. Now, uh, search is basically, if you don't want to go through the stores or, you know, you don't want to go through all that. You, you want to search. So you want to search. Let's say we want to look for something, want to look up something for maybe Cody was available um, for Roku. Let's see. Let's see if anything pop up. Uh, not really, but they have information about certain stuff with Cody in it. They got Kodak, uh, you know, something similar to that, you know, so. You got your search tab right there. You got your streaming channels. This is where you get all your apps and stuff. So if you want to, you can go through there and check out the features. These are all the featurettes. All right. These are all the features. Okay. Philo. All right. So if you guys know anything about Philo, so they give you a free trial to try out the Philo. I guess it's a, uh, an, another one of those, uh, Things like Sling TV, you know, you got Cool Flicks. All right, so you can check that out. Now, settings. Settings is where you want to get into your networking. Uh, you want to check your internet connections. Things you want to change the background of your Roku. Screen saver, you want to change the screen saver of your Roku. Accessibility gives you all sorts of options. You got TV picture, TV input, audio, um, parental controls, privacies. You know, uh, system, how to change system when you want to see if your Roku TV has a update. All right. So, and that's pretty much the basics and functions. Also, um, I do want to mention when you got antenna TV connected. All right. You got that connected. I'm putting it on mute. Okay. You got that connected. It shows you information about what's on TV. Not only that, let's change another channel, right? All right, nothing on there. Nothing on there. Let's see. Okay, now it says more ways to watch. You hit this little button. I don't know if you can see it on my remote, but you hit the little star button, and it's going to show you information about uh, how to how to find the latest episodes or you want to go back and watch that episode. Um, what apps, what streaming apps can you find it on? That's a, it's a real hit and miss. So you have to like, you know, pay close attention to it like this. Boom. See, that was a real hit and miss. It's really not giving me any information on it. What's on CW, but you know, all right, there we go. So now I can find that on Amazon prime sort of, but y'all get the picture. All right, and that's pretty much it. This is my tips and tricks uh, how to uh, use um, Roku TV. Also, um, not to forget to mention, 
you can actually rearrange your channels or how you want them. So if you want Pluto TV first or something like that, you hit the start button on your Pluto remote or your smartphone. If you got the Roku app, you can do it from your Roku. Uh, you can do it from the uh, phone. You just hit move channel. So I want to arrange it. I want it to be right underneath the Roku channel. So there we go. So now we got Roku, Pluto TV, DVD player, antenna. And that's pretty much it. And like I said, you got advertisement, quick advertisements right over here to the side. Let you know what's on now or what can you watch. And then you just click on there and then you see what's going on. And then that menu, your panels, and then your quick pick, basically. So there you guys have it. This is a tip and tricks of how to use Roku TV. So um, there is, um, you know, alternatives to getting uh, things like Kodi and Terranium TV and all that onto your Roku. You will need the web video cast application. It's 100% free on iOS and Android. And you got to go to like a, a website such as uh, yesmovies.co or movies123. Um, I'll leave those links in the description box. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, how well are you, um, how well have you been doing maneuvering using the Roku TVs and Roku sticks and things in that sort? They're, they're actually more powerful than what we know. Um, it's just some, you know, you gotta, you gotta do, a, you know, a little bit more, more tricking out. But that, that's really it. That's the best way I can explain this to you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below.